So this video is about me trying to sound like myself, which is harder than it seems. The air came on, the air came on. It's winter, so the heat comes on more often, which ruins my sound. We're just gonna go with it. Hello there, people of the internet. So in a professional setting, uh, automatic dialogue replacement would be done in a studio and the actor would be able to see himself, hear himself while he's trying to mimic the way he sounded in the original recording. However, when I'm doing a practice project like this, I don't really have access to a sound studio where I can do professional ADR. Luckily, Final Cut Pro 10 has a voiceover option, which works quite well. The only downside is I haven't figured out how I'm going to hear myself while I'm doing the voiceover. So I'm probably gonna have to play my clips back a few times to memorize my tonality in my voice and then do the voiceover. Alas, beggars can't be choosers. So let's get going. So to start this process, you need the original dialogue as a reference as well as the video. Even though I cannot hear myself while the voiceover is recording, I can play back over and over and practice along with it. This works well, but no matter how many times I practice it, I still get nervous when I hit that record button. What's with the blinking? Anyway, when you have your footage with your original dialogue in it, plug your mic into your computer. I use an older iRig and an audio cord adapter that still does the trick. After you've done that, hit Option Command 8 on your keyboard to bring up the voiceover option. Make sure your connection is good and even unplug and plug back in your iRig if needs be. Go over your lines a few times, then bring your playhead to where you want to start and hit the record button. and do this over and over until you're satisfied with the result. It may take a few times. This process isn't easy no matter what setup you have, but it's nice to have a decent option for someone with little resources. Now that that's done, I got some audio from my friend Brian who helped me with the camera work on this shoot. So now we're gonna plug that in and add some effects to it. We're gonna make it sound like it's coming from the phone and there's a preset within Final Cut Pro that you can just drag and drop onto your audio. Okay, so it is all put in there. It is exporting and we will see how it turned out. And there we have it. We're done with our second project, even though it took us a long time. Now let's see the final product juxtaposed to the product before the ADR and sound work was done. Yo, dude, what's up? Hey, man. Dude, I just got here, bro. Well, tell him to wait. Dude, I'm literally walking into the bar. Yo, dude, what's up? I'm supposed to be serving drinks. Yeah, man. Dude, I just got here, bro. We have 10 customers already. Well, tell them to wait. I sent you to get ice, and that was two hours ago. What were you doing this whole time? Dude, I'm literally walking into the bar right now. So what do you think? Did it make that much of a difference? I think it did. And now that we're done with this project, when I reflect back on how many hiccups and missteps there were because there was no planning, I think I much prefer planning. I prefer the scripting. Sometimes storyboarding is cumbersome. So going forward, I think I'm going to leave storyboarding just to the specific shots that I have in mind, and the rest will be shot by a shot list that I make. Thank you so much for watching. I've appreciated the growth that my channel has seen, even though I haven't been able to put as much time into it as I would like. 
So please subscribe and share and comment if you have any questions. And with all that being said, we're on to the next one.